Hey guys, so the hurricane is getting pretty close and since I wasn't listening to the radio or watching news recently, um, by the time I heard about the hurricane, all the water was sold out. So I had to uh, resort to this uh, five gallon uh, bucket and I added a teaspoon of bleach. So that should uh, purify it for at least uh, six weeks. Uh, hopefully we won't have to use it. Uh, but I'll do this one right here. Uh, it's supposed to be good for about five people for one day, which uh, doesn't seem like uh, too long. So I'm gonna get as many of the pots and pans that I have and then try to do the same thing. I just covered it with some, uh, um, some plastic wrap so that it doesn't spill when I move it around. But uh, yeah, it's completely full right there. So it should work. Hey guys, so it's Saturday morning. Hurricane Lane has passed and gone. Nothing really happened uh, other than the fact we stayed in the house for like three days straight. But at least we managed to pack uh, the easier stuff. Uh, we still have the big furniture that we need to either sell or figure out where it goes. Uh, right now, we're at the uh, studio that we're gonna rent for two months while we wait to close on our new place and uh, fix a little bit of it. I just came in today so that I can kind of rearrange the furniture that's here and figure out what minimum stuff we need to bring. But right now it looks like I'm just gonna bring maybe a couple of tables, the desk, computer. Uh, they already have all the kitchen stuff and uh, they even have like a hot plate, microwave and all that. So we're just gonna bring maybe like the bathroom stuff, towels, uh, shampoos, uh, soap and uh, we're gonna try to make it with the stuff that's in here already uh, so yeah that's that's all we're doing today all right guys it's time to eat some lunch it's kind of a late lunch it's almost three o'clock what we did is we came to a chinese place and instead of getting the rice and noodle i just got a tossed salad and then keto friendly uh meal and then she's not keto so she's got a bunch of noodles See you. Enjoy school. <laughs> Move. Nobody wants to see you. <laughs> How's it going, guys? It's Sunday. It's been a busy and weird day at the same time. Busy because we have to move out in a couple of days. And so I took my mobile studio over to the house and took out all the stuff that we were gonna use for the next two months while we wait for our new place to close. So we lo loaded all that up in the back. And then we loaded up all the stuff that, uh, that we're trying to sell. We loaded that up in the middle uh, and in the front. And now the truck is completely packed. I was gonna take some video of, the, of everything, uh, but my phone has been uh, dying and also I can't even call. Like for some reason I don't get a signal. I was getting the signal early in the morning and then all of a sudden it just uh, stopped working. It's been kind of hectic, but we're moving along. Uh, I was a lot more frustrated in the morning for just looking at all the stuff that we have that, you know, is as much as we've thrown away and, do and donated and sold. And we still have so much stuff that uh, just, uh, and it's, it's insane. Right now I'm trying to focus to make sure that we get rid of as much as possible and so that we don't bring any of that junk to our new place because um, it's so small. It's only 500 and about 60 square feet. So we don't have a lot of room for junk. And so we really have to get good at uh, minimalizing and uh, getting rid of uh, stuff that we don't use and we don't need. Um, it's a lot easier said than done though uh, because uh, I caught myself a couple times. Like for example, my army coins I know I'm not going to use them, but I don't want to throw them away and I guess people might not want to buy them, so I'm thinking just donating them or something, but yeah, it's tricky. She was talking to herself. It's going to be funny. <laughs> <laughs> 
Ya hiciste la sauce de chiquillosa. Ya. La carita, la carita. Dale. Bájala, bájala. La nariz. Así. Me toco tu número dos. ¿Por qué esto toma mi video cuando hay nada? Gracias. Yo te Mati. Hey guys, it's been a long day putting stuff away in our temporary vacation home. Uh, we're tired and I'm too tired to cook, so we just came to eat. Plus, we don't have a kitchen right now, basically. Um, came to a Chinese place. Alright guys, so it's Wednesday morning. We're finally done packing everything up. Uh, it's time to say goodbye to our very first home where Lisa was born and where Via was only a baby when we moved here and we picked it all up. So it's a little sad, but at the same time, it's, uh, it's the beginning to our new chapter. So we're going to be living in town, hopefully become minimalist and be able to travel more often for longer, two, three months at a time. So we'll see. Hopefully this plan works. and. Uh, I'm excited, a little sad. We are at Pia's new school. She likes it so far. It's huge, it's in the middle of Waikiki. We can wear everything and slippers. Yeah, she's yeah. a good she's a teacher. So even though we were worried about the move in the beginning, we're actually uh, pretty, pretty comfortable now. So everything's close to me. Good morning guys. It's our first morning in Waikiki. I'm on the bike right now. It still feels a little weird to drive a tricycle for some reason. Not drive, but to ride a tricycle. Uh, like it feels like it's gonna tip over, but I guess that's just the uh, the way it feels when it tilts for a turn. Uh, but for right now I haven't fallen yet so it's a good sign. How's it going guys? It is Friday morning and I gotta admit I'm worn out. The last few days have been really stressful as always when you move. Uh, but on top of that, I can't really do much because of my injury. And then the things that I can do, uh, it seems like I keep doing over and over again. Uh, today's gonna be the third time I come to see Lisa's doctor to get all the paperwork and all the shots and everything she needs so we can put her in preschool. Another thing, I wanted to homeschool her, but we don't have the patience, she's just too hyper or something. We need to be better teachers to be able to teach her right now. Plus, since we are staying in the studio for the next two months and then after that, it's gonna be a small one bedroom. We don't think we can host. It's actually gonna cost us money to homeschool her more than if uh, if we just send her to daycare. The plan is still moving. We're getting closer and closer to being where we wanna be. And then now that we're living in that a studio, it's making us realize that we have way, way too much stuff and uh, it's gonna help us with the downsizing and minimalizing and all that. So for now, I just gotta wait two more hours so she can get her TB test checked. I gotta go to the preschool and um, fill out some more forms and hopefully she can start on Tuesday. Man, I just wanna go to sleep. I just wanna go lay down, relax. 
Thank you for watching guys. Remember, I'm on a mission to retire early and travel the world with my family. So on top of my weekly vlogs, I'm also gonna put videos on how I plan to generate money on the road, how I save money, how I become a minimalist, and anything that helps me reach that goal of early retirement. Uh, if that's something that interests you, please subscribe to this channel. Click right here to see the latest upload. Click here to see videos that relate to this video right here. Don't forget to hit the little bell so you can get notifications for whenever I upload new videos. And also, if you like this video, please hit the like button. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.